Hello, my name is XP Love Cat, and I create content all related to the horror author from the 1920s, H.P. Lovecraft. I do short story reviews, board game reviews, video game reviews, anything that's really inspired by his works, you'll find on my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a short story review of Neurolithotep. So I have with me this book called The Complete Cthulhu Mythos Tales by H.P. Lovecraft, and it compiles a lot of his short stories and works. So today I'm going to be reviewing actually the second story in here, which is Neurolithotep. And I keep saying story, but technically I believe it is a prose poem. Now I'm not going to pretend to be an English major because I am definitely not. But I do know that what that means is it's kind of a cross between uh, traditional literature or novel writing and poetry. So he uses some of the themes and writing styles from poetry and puts it in a more novel form. So when I first read the story, I read it like I normally do, which is just in my head. But I ended up reading it again, and the second time I read it was out loud. And that gave me a new appreciation for how beautiful the writing really was. Just hearing it out loud and hearing the words flow together like they did was very beautiful. And I highly recommend if you read this story or poem that you read it out loud because it's very, very beautiful. So finally getting into the story. So this is about an outer god that roams the earth named Neurolithotep, or as most of you probably know him as, the Crawling Chaos. So like a lot of H.P. Lovecraft's works, he doesn't go into great detail as to what or who Neurolithotep is in this particular story, and doesn't give a really deep description of what he looks like either. He awakens after being in darkness for 27 centuries and comes as a pharaoh that roams the earth. So he's traveling around Egypt, gaining followers by exhibiting his great godly powers. Nightmares and chaos follow him wherever he goes. So this narrator goes to see one of these exhibitions and see the prophecies that are being talked about that Nyarlathotep is showing to crowds. But our narrator actually interrupts Nyarlathotep and calls him an imposter. Now, Nier Lithotep is pretty hot-tempered, and he didn't appreciate being called an imposter. So he immediately takes this narrator and the crowd into madness. And at this point in the poem, it becomes very confusing, not really sure what is going on, as the narrator travels through scenes that don't necessarily make coherent sense. And I'd actually like to read to you the last sentence in this poem. And through this revolting graveyard of the universe the muffled, maddening beating of drums and thin monotonous whine of blasphemous flutes from inconceivable unlighted chambers beyond time the detestable pounding and piping wherein two dance slowly awkwardly and absurdly the gigantic tenebros ultimate gods the blind voiceless mindless gargoyles whose soul is near lithotep so that just gives you a taste of this writing style, but also the chaos and madness that the narrator is experiencing in the latter half of this poem. So now I want to get into my thoughts on this poem. I really love the poetic nature of the story, and I'd like to actually read just a couple lines that demonstrate what I'm talking about. So H.P. Lovecraft uses a lot of alliteration in this poem, and here's an example. Into the lands of civilization came Neolithotep, swarthy, slender, and sinister, always buying strange instruments. So the S's, S, S, S. Or this is another example. Pitying moon as it glimmered on green waters gliding under bridges. So like I said, I would really recommend reading this out loud just to appreciate how beautiful the words are when they flow together. In addition to how it's actually written, I love Neolithotep. He is probably my favorite creation of H.P. Lovecraft. And this is just the very beginning when he first appears in H.P. Lovecraft's works. So 
ultimately the reason why I love this story so much is because it's a great opener and introduction to Neolithotep and the chaos that he brings. Really, I mean, he's he's pretty cool. Like, Cthulhu could come down and just devour humans left and right, whatever. But Neolithotep craves chaos and he has so many different forms, walks with the humans. I feel like he is more a more relatable Lovecraft creation. And for that reason, I really love him. So overall, I believe this was very beautifully written. And it's two and a half pages, so you might as well just sit down and read it. It's pretty fast. But like other Lovecraft stories I've read, it doesn't have a ton of depth to the story or any background or lore on Neolithotep. I'm gonna give this a three out of five cats on my rating scale of cats. It's a good solid piece and I would recommend everyone check it out. I hope you enjoyed my video today. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if there's a specific story you would like me to review. Thanks, and see you next time.